Penny Hinara. Excellent, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, and no mai hoki mai e te whare. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a bit of a long break and we're back into the swing of things. And I've heard many times um, today, Mr. Chair, people talking about this amazing broadband rollout, this investment into infrastructure that sees the internet become more and more accessible. Well, a recent report still has Māori access to internet um, is still only at around 64%. In fact, it is the lowest in the country. And we argue that most of those um, are actually in the city, believe it or not. We do say that there is a significant lack of development uh, for broadband usage uh, and infrastructure in the regions, but I'll argue that in Tāmaki Makaurau, in fact, much of the Māori population, a transient population, uh, a population that can't afford to get onto the network, let alone access it, you'll find them down at McDonald's accessing the free Wi-Fi. So 64%, is this the kind of progressive economy that we want and, and that the Māori people uh, are looking for to engage in, in, in an economy that will provide sustenance, provide sustainability for them and their families. Mr Chair, I want to turn right now to He Kai Kei Aku Ringa. He Kai Kei Aku Ringa is the Māori economic development strategy. And Mr, Mr Chair, I'm going to argue that despite seeing trade delegations go overseas, Despite seeing all of this rhetoric around iwi settlements, I can tell you that the Māori people in the regions are not benefiting. Certain people are, fat cats are, there are uh, uh, people eating at the trough, but I can tell you this, the majority of the Māori population aren't benefiting. They aren't benefiting. So we know that there are, uh, um, the settings in the national economy are broken because they're not filtering out to the regions. They really aren't. So what's the answer from this government? In Northland, I tell you what, we'll settle with Ngāpuhi and that'll fix the entire economic issue in Te Tai Tokero, in Northland. Well, Mr Chair, um, I don't think that that's responsible economic management, nor do I think it's Please. sustainable, nor do I think it's something that will engage the entire region and not just put the onus on Māori to lift the regions out of the doldrums, because that's what their plan is. That's what the plan is. Let's utilise all of these settlements. Let's utilise He Kai Kei Aku Ringa, and we'll pull in a few of um, the Māori leaders and we'll tell the Māori people that your, the economy is booming for you and when you're ready, you can come and plug into it. You can receive the benefits from this growing economy. He Kai Kei Aku Ringa. More than five trade uh, delegations offshore. That's fantastic. The culture's being seen in China, Asia, all over the show. What's come back to the beneficiaries here in New Zealand, Aotearoa? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. I argue, Mr Chair, absolutely nothing. And so what's the plan? Like I said, oh, well, we'll give the iwi more settlements and expect them to do the job that we're failing to do. Right. Mr Chair, um, I've spoken about the uh, He Kai Kei Aku Ringa strategy. Why is it then, Mr Chair, that Māori unemployment still remains above 12%? above 12 per cent. And we also know too that the majority of the Māori population are young people, rangatahi. And so approximately 80,000 young people aren't engaged in employment, education or training. This tells me that the settings are broken, Mr Chair. This, this economic plan, this great hope for this country is not working. It's not working for the people in the regions. It's definitely not working for Māori, that's for sure. I've already mentioned the unemployment statistics. Let's not talk about the poor housing um, uh, ownership rates. Let's not talk about the low wages. A lot of those low-skilled jobs, Māori and Pacific Island people in Tāmaki Makaurau are filling those jobs. What does this government do? No plan to raise the wages, none whatsoever. We talk about poverty. All of the issues that were just discussed and debated around housing all comes back to this, a really poor economic plan. No. One that will provide a vision for Aotearoa New Zealand, one that will see us all prosper, not just the people at the top, but everybody prosper. Māori, Pākehā, in the regions, in the cities, that is the challenge in front of this country and this government is failing to meet that challenge. 
They're failing to come up with a clear plan for prosperity. The Honourable Stephen George.